G'day guys, uh, Boucher here. Um, because there was unforeseen circumstances this week, I couldn't get to you guys face to face. And I promised you that I would uh, put this all together in a video. So this is the first of three videos that I'll be sharing with you guys. Um, the first one I'm looking at is very, very simple. You guys probably seen me trade this a lot before. Very easy and very profitable. Um, that's just a plain, uh, plain breakout strategy that I use. Okay. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to go and look at how do you, uh, put in a correct trend line. Okay. So let's just zoom in here. So the correct one is you can see from where the uptrend started. As you can see, guys, that is where the uptrend started. So what we do is we start it at the bottom of the body of the candle, not the not the shadow, not the wick. The reason being, the wick is not where price is. The wick is where price was, but couldn't sustain itself. So it came back and it stopped there, it closed there for the day. Okay. So as you can see, as we scroll to the right, you'll see sometimes it touches the wick. But it must touch the body of the candle at least three times. So you can see two to three times. That's just to make sure that we have a reasonably strong support uh, level that we know that if it breaks out, we're going to have a, a very nice run. Okay. So firstly, just a bit of statistics that with support and resistance, um, the market or price always bounces 70%. 70% of the time, the market bounces off of a support or resistance. So 70% of the time, you'll get the market coming to here and doing that again. Okay. So that's why it's very profitable to trade the bounce. So this is why this is step two in trading a trend line. Okay. So firstly, you need to mark your trend line accordingly. As you can see on the bottom of, bottom of the body, bottom of the body so you can see there's a touch there's two touches there's another touch and there's one and now you can see the market slow slowly coming back to that point yes sometimes you get do get a channel as well you can see there's some sort of channel there forming okay just one one golden rule that i trade by is that the trend is your friend yes you can tra trade against the trend meaning that you can put in a sell here and take that but more often than not, for people that's not that experienced and still new in trading, the best thing to do is to stick with the trend and go with the majority of the market. Okay. So, so remember this, the trend is your friend. Okay. At the bend till the end. That is my motto. Okay, guys. As you can see, it came here, started a new uptrend, pulled back, hit the, uh, support, support, uh, support line there, or, it came back, touched the 38.2 Fib level, and it gave us positive price action there. Gave us a big bullish engulfing candle there, and we would have entered there, and we would have took and taken that run there. Okay, so that's how you trade the bounce. Once again, you should have entered here, made all the made money there, got out of the trade here, waited for the pullback, or like I, I like to call it, the reloading of the gun, that is the shot that you shoot, and that's the reload, and that's the shot. So another thing, the market likes to repeat itself. As you can see, we've got a push, an exhaustion, another push, exhaustion again, a push, an exhaustion, a push, currently busy with an exhaustion. So if history repeats itself, we know that if price comes to this point, we can see if price action is showing us that the buyers are pitching up, and that the support is holding, we can enter another buy trade, and look for another 100 pips or so, okay, because we've seen it three times in the past, almost four times, okay guys, so that is how you trade the bounce, um, more often than not it will bounce, as you can see, bounce off the trend line, um, and then 30% of the time, like I said, 70% of the time it bounces, 30% of the time price will break through here, so what we are looking at, and how can we establish what is a break and what is a bounce? Okay. Firstly, a bounce. You'll see price going through. This is the best example I can give you guys at the moment. 
just go to there. So what you can see, that is the best example of a bounce, that candle right there. So you see price tried to break through here, couldn't sustain itself there. There wasn't enough sellers to push down the market, came back up. And this is what we call a low test bar because it tested low, came back, and price is still high. Okay, Low test bar, or some people call it a pin bar. I call it a low test bar. And uh, that is a bullish signal that is price action telling us that there are buyers in the market and that the market will go up in the coming days. And as you can see, this is a one hour chart, but you can see in the next few hours, price did go up um, quite quite aggressively. Yeah? Took about 70 pips. Um, so yes, uh, remember price action very, very, very important with this. Okay, let's go through this. Got a bullish and bullish engulfing candle here. And that told us that the market is bullish again. We should have bought there. And you'd see we've had a nice one again. Another one here. Okay, there isn't price action really showing us. You can maybe take that one as a bullish engulfing candle. Would have entered here where price closed. And you would have taken a lot of pips as well there. Um, there we've got another low test candle here, low test bar, where price tried to push through, came back, uh, supported the support line. We should have bought there, and there was another good run. Okay, so exactly what we're looking for here is the price coming down, giving us another low test bar or bullish engulfing candle for a bounce to go up. Okay, so the shadow should be uh, beyond or below the support. Okay, so for a break, for a break, guys. We want a candle to come, push through, and not retrace back again. So the candle must break and close below the support line. And then I will be happy to say that that is a breakout and that price did not support the trend line. And what we can do is we've got two ways of trading this now. Firstly, what we do is we can immediately enter at the close of that candle that, break, that broke through. But then you're requiring, requiring a lot more patience because what can happen is price can go down a bit. Yeah, you're in profit. Well done. But then with any breakout strategy, what price does is came, it comes back to retest the support or resistance it broke through. Okay. So it's going to come back. You're probably going to go back into the minus or break even. And then it's going to go down. So you've got two entries here. The one for the more aggressive trader, you can enter on that candle as soon as it broke through and closed below that candle you could have entered there and you would sit through this whole pullback and know that this thing is coming down okay otherwise for the more conservative trader you could have entered when you saw the push come down retest and at that retest you could have entered there for itself and then took that um, so that's two ways of trading the breakout okay and then what you normally do is a breakout is normally a change of a trend. So we'd like to at least look for where's the low, where's the new support here. So as you can see, just quickly looking at this, that here is the support, support uh, level. So there, price came down, there, touched and came down, there, it broke through, retested this, and shot up. Okay, so that's just another example of price always retesting a, a horizontal level when breaking through it. Exactly with horizontal levels. Diagonal levels, whether or not price breaks through, it always, always, or 90% of the time, will retest that support or resistance line. Okay. So we would then, for the safe traders, or I'd like to bring two targets here. Target one being this, where I would take about, let's say we entered here, we would target about, let's say, 70 pips on this. Let's just put it here. That would be. TP1. Okay, why is it green? Sorry, guys. Uh, so that would be TP1. Okay. Then what we can do is we can look for at the bottom of this, look for another support, support or resistance. Uh, I'm not really seeing any here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for at least something okay and here you can see it's not a very strong horizontal level because here it tested tested there tested there broke through retested there you see it again broke through retest broke through retest 
Okay, so you can see it always breaks through you retest that. Okay, so there's another touch. So that would be my TP2. Okay, that would be TP2. And that would be worth at least almost 200 pips. 170, okay. 170 pips, okay. So that is where we would like to target it. But remember guys, the market will never, never just go in a straight line. It will do this. So you need to be emotionally strong enough to sit through the pullback because what you essentially did by trading this is that you caught the beginning of a new downtrend. Okay. So it will probably do this as a market always, always cycles. Eventually, he'll hit real TP there. Okay. So, uh, just one last thing regarding this strategy is uh, where do you put your stop loss? Stop loss always at the high of the previous swing high. Okay. So you can see it broke through here, retested there. Let's say you've entered here. Your stop loss is always, always above the resistance. Okay. So that would be a 50 pip stop loss and you would make 170 pip. Let's say you're risking 2% on that trade, meaning 50 pips is 2%, and you made 170 odd pips, you've made about 6 to 7% return on that trade, okay? That's just a normal, or just a very um, easy example of how to trade uh, trend, trend line breakouts and bounces. So remember, if the, if the market bounces, You'll get that. Okay, cool. Let's just go to another chart quickly. So here we can see it already broke through. This is just a downtrend breaking up into an uptrend. Okay, let's just take out Fibonacci. Let me show you what happens. So you can see market came down, retested, market came down, retested, down, 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 finally broke through here. This is what I like when trading, when trading um, trend breakouts is that this double bottom gives me a double confirmation that there is support there, there is bias there, and then I will just wait for this mark for this to break through here. Broke through, we see it rallied up, came back for the retest. Now do you guys remember I told you about that price action? Look at that, another low test candle telling us it's gone with the retest, we can enter the trade here and buy, and if we entered here with a buy, we We've still been in this trade, about 20 pips in this trade. Um, okay. So sometimes what we need to do is the market goes that way. Okay. Breaks through. What we immediately do is you take your Fibonacci tool, you pull it, or you drag it from the bottom of that uptrend to the top of that. You'll see it throws out and all the retracement levels. And then you can see as it comes to the levels of the Fib, you'll see whether or not price will, uh, react to it okay so as you can see nicely price reacted to the 50 percent level here uh, on the fibonacci and that would be a double confirmation actually triple confirmation that this is a good buy and we would have entered the trade still be in it and we would have targeted somewhere around here okay that would be your tp so you would again make another good 200 220 pips Okay, so that's a very, very easy trading method. Um, and yeah, always, always the RSI, the 7 RSI can always help you just to show you uh, the market is below the 30 or above the 70. So we'll just give another confirmation of whether or not to enter the trade. Okay, guys, any questions, comment your questions down below. Um, I'll put my email in there. You guys can email me or send me a message. Uh, on any questions on trading this strategy and uh, yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope I hope you learned something and uh, happy trading stay patient stay disciplined stick to the rules and trust your strategy thank you guys